we gonna do today? We gonna go seven today, boy. What are these? These right here? Bruh. Very, very nice. Okay. <laughs> There it is.
happen. Car shut off. Transmission seems okay. Engine seems okay. Not sure what happened there. Everything seems okay. All right, what's up guys? So it's another vlog today. Just so you know, I'm starting out like this because we actually did testing the day before, but I lost my memory card. So we had the first pass off the trailer with a brand new build, seeing everyone from the shop and stuff like that. But I, I honestly, I don't know where it went. I'm gonna keep looking for it. And if I find it, I'll be able to get that uploaded later. But we're starting here at day two, technically day one of GTR World Cup. So the actual competition day. I came off of the trailer on Friday and ran an 865 at 170 miles an hour. Made sure the car was working, made sure I could handle the power. That was like 1200 wheel horsepower. And then we turned it a little bit up um, for today to be able to run a little bit faster and hopefully go for sevens and see if the transmission lasts. So um, enjoy today. Enjoy GTR World Cup. I got a couple of vlogs for it. Um, and then, yeah, we're rebuilding now and getting ready for TA2K. All right, what's up, guys? We got day two here. Oh, actually, this is day one of GTR World Cup. Yesterday was just testing, testing tune. I got Chris just drove for me all the way here. Got Myra in the back. And so uh, today's a big day. It's, it's raining right now, which kind of sucks, but uh, we got to hit sevens today. To be able to qualify to be in eliminations tomorrow, we have to touch sevens. Um, the wheels are just not going to work out. We almost found a solution to get the 15-inch wheels on the rear, which would have made it a lot safer and faster in a 60-foot, but it's just it's not going to happen. So I have to keep the radials up front that I'm borrowing. Um, car kind of looks a little bit worse like that, but I'm dealing with it. At least we get to race. So... Um, yeah, today's seven, so I'm excited for it. Let's do it. Hey, Jello. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're all ready. We got the stickers. They give you a nice little merch bag and everything. So we got some shirts in here, some shirts for the wifey, a couple of hats. So pretty cool that they do all this stuff. But we've got to get started, ready up. Probably a couple hours away from racing because we got to dry everything down. Yeah, track's super wet. I mean, it's. It's nasty, all kinds of water on the ground. Baby girl's all wet right here. I'm gonna put all this in the truck. You wanna unlock it? Please? Yeah. You know, that shop Houston. Get myself together, bro. I mean, I was in tears, man, watching your story. That's awesome. Like, man, I mean, it touched me and I said, yo, God bless you, man. And yo, let me tell you, nobody gets opportunities like this. You got to take advantage of it. Exactly. Take you got to make sure we give it all back. Hey, man, I'm trying to tell place. you, it's amazing, bro. It's amazing. Take it easy. It's just, it's awesome being able to share the story with these people and hear that, like, I can just, ah, it's, ah, it's just <laughs> four years out. Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, Thank well, you for the support. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. Appreciate y'all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? We gonna go seven today, boy. <laughs> A quarter yeah, tank. The your car. Oh, really? Yeah, with Marcelo. With Marcelo, because those will clear his brakes and those will clear your brakes. I don't know right now. They want to swap my wheels with another one because I'm borrowing some right now, but I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Well, I guess I'm borrowing tires, so I ain't got a choice. Yeah, what? We got the Kobe's on. What's yeah, up? You know, I had to represent the mob looking fresh, my life. guy. For life. Woo. Hey, what are you doing with a camera, bro? <laughs> Gotta support the Girl Scout. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Yeah, those are hard. I like those. Those? Yeah. What are these? These right here? Bruh. Very, very nice. Okay. <laughs> I think this belongs right, more. <laughs> hey, we got slow boat tuning out here, too. Oh, are yeah. you in a class today? From Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. You want one of them? Sharon is Karen. No, that'll kill me, actually. You trying to kill me now? No. How will it kill you? Very. Yeah, I got a fart already. <laughs> Don't go that far. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we, we doing? Uh, we're taking a nitrous bottle out right now. Okay. We're gonna cut a little weight, about 20, 24 pounds. Yep. That's the only way to look like a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> we got Brad on the case again. My man is back and ish. 
back working on the car. Yeah, we got like 80 pounds we can strip out the car still and yeah, still be in yeah. class. So, we're looking good. <laughs> nah, in my head I was expecting like an 8, 8, yeah. 9, you know, 8, 8. We got the bottle. You want the laughing? Alright, we got a sticker on. Now it just looks like a, a sticker full of car. A car full of stickers. <laughs> Alright, go do the first pass. So scary, but uh, I'm alive. <laughs> Woo! That's at 1400 still. Hey, David, that's at 1400 still. So what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts, bro. Guess what I waited at? Huh? 37.80. Really? I was like, oh, I need to put some more fuel in. <laughs> Cause yeah. what, is, what does that have to be for the class? 3750? Do I open the door a little more? Yeah, right there. Hi, so now we have my mom and my dad here. Um, Are you hiding? I was hiding. <laughs> I got you. Uh, but on the last pass I did um, 823 at 177 with a 145 60 foot. So 60 foot still a little bit slow, but we're adding a little bit more on top on the next one. See how we can do. Um, parachute failed on that one. And I forgot to start the GoPro, but when the parachute didn't come out, I freaked out. But I actually, I stopped the car and I was okay. So it was, uh, it was a big deal actually for me to be able to get over that and know that if the parachute doesn't come out, I, I am still going to be okay. I do have the strength now to be able to find that brake and stop from 180 miles an hour. So uh, that was very, I was very encouraging. But uh, my legs, eight two, eight two three, and my leg is doing fine. It was, the car was all over the track again because the radio's up front but like just felt ah just i'm confident and that's the biggest key is that as soon as you're confident behind the wheel everything changes so um i'm excited and ready to go faster <laughs> Man, <it's terrible. laughs> there it is. Situation. Hey, let me see what's this. They're up underneath the car right now. <laughs> they're looking. Sneaking a lot. Yeah. Right here. All right, Tanner. I'll make it to actually quite far. No, look at look at even the axle and everything. All that the whole side. Yeah. But the rear diff shouldn't be clattering at idle. Maybe the the pressure plate broke or the flywheel. No, if the flywheel did, it wouldn't no, run. It's, it's coming from up here. Right, Tanner. Hang on, get out from underneath the car and just fire it up, see if I can see where it's coming from. Get out. Um, basically, I went to do my burnout for the seven second pass. Um, going into second gear, uh, Chris on the outside said that he saw the tires like chirp, like stop, 
something broke, so we're trying to figure it out right now. It won't! It kinda. <laughs>